on guys, my name is Shane and welcome back to a Pregnancy Diaries. So today's Pregnancy Diaries is going to be a little tiny bit different than we normally do. I'm still going to go over, um, you know, kind of what's going on this week with my pregnancy, how I'm feeling, but if you missed the last Sunday, we had a live stream of my gender reveal. Um, it's no secret at this point that I'm having a little boy <laughs> and I'm so excited, but honestly, I was shocked shocked. We're going to get into that in a few minutes, but I would have bet money that I was having another girl. So when I found out that we're having a little boy, I, I uh, what? <laughs> I, I, I am beyond thrilled. I would have truly been happy with either a boy or a girl. I was just like completely taken back uh, that we're having a boy. So that's super exciting. So before we even get into the pregnancy diaries, I have a couple like little items to show you. I guess you could call them like a mini haul. And then I actually want to kind of recap my gender reveal a little bit. I know everyone couldn't make it to the live stream or haven't seen the live stream yet, which is totally okay. I understand. Um, but I just kind of wanted to like highlight a couple of the gender reveal pieces of video and stuff, so we're gonna do all of that in today's video, but let me go ahead and show you guys some of the really cute stuff that I've already gotten for our new baby boy. By the way, I don't know if you know his name, um, it was revealed in the gender reveal as well, but I know my main concern wasn't the live stream during the reveal, so like I propped my camera up so you guys could see the screen that it was being revealed on, but uh, you might have easily missed the name, but his name is Hunter James. I don't know if we're going to add um, my husband. My husband's name is Thomas James Edward. Um, he's named after his grandfather's, and he actually recently had a conversation with me about possibly adding Edward into our baby boy's names too. So it's Hunter James for sure, but we might add it to be Hunter James Edward. So we'll see. <laughs> it's, it might be the only boy you get, you know what I mean? I don't know if we're going to have a third child that is just like not in our roster at the moment. I'd be happy with two, um, but that is a possibility. So his name might be tweaking just a tiny bit. Um, but because my mom knew what it was, she was the only one that knew. Uh, she had gotten me a couple little things, so I want to show you guys. Ah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited to shop for a boy, too. So the first thing, look at how stinking cute. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, this is glue to the tube. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. So if you if you couldn't really tell, I mean. I thought it was obvious, but if you couldn't tell, um, it was like a YouTube themed gender reveal. My mom was saying that she was trying to think of something unique and she was thinking about what I'm passionate about and I'm passionate about coming on camera and I've been doing this for over 10 years now and I just love the connection that I have with the camera and how comfortable I feel being on camera and you know even though I might not like think out of the box I feel like my content is kind of more like old school YouTube I've said since the beginning I'm not concerned with my views if someday my videos blow up great <laughs> you know fantastic but to be honest there's a lot of embarrassing content out there as well I might prefer to sweep under the rug but um, this has been my passion for the past 10 years and Ella's been a huge part of it and my mom wanted to do something that revolved that and I apologize I'm still stuffy from a couple days ago um, but yeah so it's so cute oh my goodness gracious <laughs> So, um, I really, at this point, I really don't want to buy a ton of clothes because I don't know how big the baby is going to get. Um, and I know people, that's like people's favorite thing to buy is newborn clothes. So, we'll see. And then we have this one that says little baby bear. Oh my god, I just forget how like it, teeny tiny babies are. It's just so cute. My little handsome boy is going to be in here. So, and it has the little um, hoodie on the back with the little bear ears. Ooh. With the little bear ears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. And then we have a couple other little onesies. So we have this, um, it kind of reminds me of like if, if men go hunting, they wear the bright neon orange. But it says Card Heart Hunt Club. Oh. 
well, <laughs> Card Hearts Hunt Club, and it has like a little, uh, not a bloodhound, but like some sort of dog um, on the front. And then we have this one, which is so cute. It's a little John Deere uh, onesie, and it says my first season. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just, it, it's like, obviously I feel like I'm having a son, but it's just like, I've been on Amazon and I've been on Pinterest trying to come up with like nursery theme ideas and adding stuff to my cart and picking out colors for the room when it's done. Like I, you know, I love having my little girl. I, my little girl is my entire world, but it's just going to be like so different. I'm spitting. <laughs> it's going to be so different having a son as well and I've always wanted one of each at least to experience and I'm getting my little boy and I tried really hard for him. <laughs> um, and then the, another with the, it kind of looks like a lab uh, but it's a card heart uh, a life on the trail shirt, little, t little tiny t-shirt. And then I got this little bag as well um, and they gave me a little <laughs> a little tiny <laughs> pair of sneakers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to buy like little Timberlands from him. <gasps> we can buy him little bow ties. And <laughs> he was so excited. So he bought these tiny little sneakers for him. And then this was actually the envelope. I'll show you guys. If it doesn't have my, oh, it has my, uh, <laughs> it has my hospital on it. But this was the envelope that my mom was handed for the gender reveal. So in this tiny little piece of paper is the ultrasound folded up. By the way, my husband might walk in. He's coming home soon, but let me see if there's any, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll hide, I'll hide the very top of it where it shows, but I don't know, like, <laughs> so it says boy, and then they said that that's, Oh my god, I'm gonna get to monetize, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you can. I. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> that's what that is, I guess. Um, and then, so I got this little bag. This is where most of that stuff came in. Um, they got me this little teether, which I didn't even see these when Ella was a baby. Um, now I've seen them in store, but this would have been awesome but it's like a little glove teether oh my goodness gracious look at the little hats for his tiny little bald head <laughs> so we have this black and gray one a solid gray one and then a little camo and the camo one is the only one with like little bear ears on it too and then we have a little matching camo set um and then we have the like a, a mustard colored onesie doesn't have anything on it and then the other one says stay wild and if you can see the front of it how it's like that forest green and I think it has a fox in it that's kind of the theme of his nursery I wanted to have his room be gray um beige I wanted one accent wall to be green so like if you picture this shirt in a nursery that's kind of what I'm going for. No little tiny baby socks. Look at how cute. <laughs> um, and then, you know, everything's blue. When I had Elle, everything was uh, pink and purple. So it's just like, it's so strange to see blue. I'm like, oh my gosh. It'll be easy to tell their clothes apart at least. And then I got a uh, set of bibs. And <laughs> it says, every day I'm dribbling. <laughs> Um, my nap game is strong with a little um, barbell, I think it's called. Act like a baby, think like a boss, and little man, big fan <laughs> for our Patriots. Yeah, baby. Um, so yeah, we got some of those. And then the last thing in here, it wasn't a present, but it was, um, somebody brought some team boy and team girl sunglasses to my gender reveal. And yes, I was wearing the pink ones. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to keep these, I'm gonna put these up, <laughs> up here, I wanted to keep them, um, cause I like to do like little scrapbooks and stuff. And then like I said, I haven't been really buying a whole lot because we're still working on the upstairs, we're finishing up the bathroom so that way we can start on the nursery. Oh by the way, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not, but this dress isn't zipped all the way. I need help and my husband's gonna be home in a minute. I can't get like this last inch up. Anyways. 
<laughs> um, I haven't been going crazy buying stuff even though I want to. Again, I don't know what size baby he's going to be. Once we have, like, once we're getting close to finishing the nursery, that's, excuse me, that's when I'll start buying, like, all the nursery stuff. Um, but I figured I could buy crib sheets <laughs> at least. So I bought um, just a uh, set of gray ones to go with the gray theme of his room as well. So that is actually everything that I have for the mini baby boy haul. Um, I have one more really adorable thing to show you guys that came in today that I just, I felt like I had to include in today's video. Um, it has to do with my Ella Bella and her school pictures came in today. Oh my goodness gracious. If you're new, um, I have a daughter, Ella. She's five years old. She just started kindergarten today. And look at how beautiful she is. I died when I saw this. So this big one we're keeping here at home. Um, but there's like a whole bunch of different sizes for the family to choose from. I have two slightly smaller ones for both the grandmothers and then like wallet sized ones for everybody else. But oh my gosh, I couldn't even get how I couldn't even get over how grown up she looks and just how stinking beautiful this girl is inside and out. And I told her, I said, don't make any weird faces or we're going to do picture retakes. But I am in love with this one. So next time we f we're filming in this spot, this is actually like a new piece of furniture in my, in my room. I might have like a picture frame back here or something. Oh, she's so beautiful. I can't get over. I make some good looking kids. Stay away from my son. Anyways, let's get right into the pregnancy diaries because I feel like it's been a long, it's been a lot today. We are officially 23 weeks pregnant, guys. <laughs> um, crazy, absolutely bonkers. Um, we if we're 23 weeks, that means we have 17 weeks left. And that's if I go the full 40 weeks. I went 41 weeks with Ella, so let's hope this time I'm like on time because I'm kind of getting over being big. Uh, but the hair color is beginning to change to the color that it will have at birth. The lungs are producing a substance called surfacant that prevents the lung lungs from sticking together. Loud noises. Oh, sorry, baby. Loud no noises may startle your baby, causing a sudden jolt in your uterus. So that's what's going on. The baby is about 1.32 pounds. Oh, it says, that, yeah, 17 weeks left. What size is it? Let's see. Oh, it's still the size of an eggplant. It'll still be the size of an eggplant up until 25 weeks. So not a massive amount of growth, I guess these couple of weeks but um I'm so excited you know it's crazy like the the main thing that I've noticed now is that like I've really just popped <laughs> um a lot of people like almost everybody that I see that's family is like oh my gosh like there's your baby belly like you're finally really starting to show um and I show my baby belly every time so let me stand up for you guys this is actually the same dress I wore on my gender reveal but Oh yeah, came out of nowhere, right? Ignore that. <laughs> came out of nowhere, right? I still have my blue and pink nails. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're popped for sure. It, you know, it's pretty obvious to strangers at this point that I have a baby in there. Um, and it, it's really cute. I love looking pregnant. I hate that like weird, the beginning when you start and it kind of get a belly, but people can't tell if it's just like you're getting chubby or you're getting pregnant. <laughs> Kind of weird. I like looking obviously pregnant, um, so I'm really excited about that. And the other thing is that the first time that I felt um, Hunter, because now I can use his name, the first time I felt Hunter kick was at my first ultrasound when we found out uh, when my mom found out who we were having a couple years ago, and a couple years ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, and ever since that ultrasound, I have felt him move regularly, so I'm so excited. Like, it's still such an odd feeling to, like, put my hand on my belly and feel him kick. Like, I, I especially feel him still, like, right down here. Um, this is his favorite side to kick. He always likes to get right here, so it's getting kind of sore on that side, but, um... TJ felt him kick um, actually on our gender reveal 
was the first time that he felt movement so it's just been it's been super special um you know that's such an amazing feeling and you know at first I was like is that him is that not him but it, it's quite obvious now when he's awake, when he's sleeping, when he's kicking and all that fun stuff. So it's been a journey. Um, we still <laughs> we still have a long journey ahead of us, but I'm so excited. I know that um, my mom mentioned that I will be having another baby shower. I don't know when it's gonna be. That whole thing will be a surprise, but I will have another baby shower. So it'll be super exciting to show you guys what we get. Um, and I'm gonna do like a whole like what's in my labor bag again because I feel like this time around I'm a little bit more knowledgeable. I know what I need to pack versus what I don't really need for the hospital. Um, I'm probably gonna I'm thinking about like live streaming when I'm at the hospital which might sound strange but I told TJ that this time at the hospital obviously I want him there for the initial birth and as much time as he wants to spend there you know but I told him I said you know Ella's got to be picked up from school and brought to school and if you want to go out and get lunch go get lunch and come back later go home get a good night's sleep take a shower because I got it this time. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I'm much more prepared this time around. I kind of know what to expect. Um, I'm also kind of debating. I really want to get more into live streams and I don't know if I'd want to do one every week but I don't. The, the thing is like I would do live streams more often and don't take like this the wrong way at all but I would do live streams more often if more people kind of joined on and we could have like discussions and uh, Q&A's whether it's about pregnancy or not. Um, I would really like to do that and try to like jump out of my comfort zone a little bit more with you guys. Um, or you know what I mean like do unboxings on live streams or anything. So um, that's something that I want to do and um, yeah, I'm, re I'm really excited. So let me know what you guys think of that or any other questions or comments you have. Uh, you can leave them on my community tab. Just find the thumbnail of this video or you can go on my Facebook and Instagram and leave it there. Sometimes YouTube is nice to me and will <laughs> allow my comments, but most likely not. So those are three platforms you can comment or um, leave your questions.
Thank you guys so much for watching this Pregnancy Diaries. I will catch you guys back up in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm really trying to catch up and film some more videos. Halloween is coming uh, and I have something coming in the mail for that so I'm really excited for that to come in. So we'll see what bring, what, we'll see what life brings us in the near future I suppose. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed please go ahead and leave a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!